guys, how's it going? If you can't tell, I'm uh, I'm on vacation right now, and of course, I've been spending a lot of time editing and shooting videos for you guys. It is so nice outside. Gonna lay out. I just was working on a really fun little project. Man, that waterfall is really loud. Some things are happening over here. But also flying my drone. Taking off in five. Taking pictures of the streets here to keep them in mind. Now since I've been traveling, I've been thinking about travel apps that I use when I travel. Now there's tons and tons and tons of travel apps, and I don't really use that many specific travel apps. But when I am traveling, I made myself a little travel folder, so I thought I would show you guys what I use to sort of keep my life organized, keep myself in check, and basically things that I sort of use on a daily basis. So as you'll see here on my first page, these are in no particular order. I basically just put them into this folder just so I could show you guys for the sake of keeping it a little bit organized. I don't really actually ever go page by page on my iPhone. What I do is I swipe down and I search for something. So if I wanna search for my JetBlue app, I search for JetBlue. I'm not sure if in the long run that saves me any time at all, but that's just sort of how I use my phone and that's just, it's it's, it's my thing, okay? Just le let me be. Going back into our travel app, I wish that I used this app more. It's called Headspace. It's a meditation app. For a while, I had been using it, so I think I maybe did about a month straight of using it, and I actually did feel so much better. Amtrak, I don't really use it that often, but when I do need to, I can book trips directly on my phone. SkyFit, this is actually kind of a cool app as well. Clearly I haven't used it on my new phone because it's asking me to log in. But it has really cool classes that you can do on a treadmill. Not a big treadmill fan, I like to be doing something, so I'll either watch a show or I'll do one of these classes. They have really cool music, it's pretty fun. FlightAware is something that I use to track flights. Southwest, another airline app. Zillow is actually kind of an interesting thing because when I'm traveling, I like to kind of see what the real estate is in the area. Foursquare is really great for getting tips on where to eat or coffee shops. I use Foursquare a lot for coffee shops. Virgin America, another airline. JetBlue, another airline. DoorDash, a food delivery service. Because sometimes when I'm traveling, I'm hungry, which is most of the time. So I use DoorDash and Postmates equally. United, just another airline, probably one of the worst, to be honest with you. And then we have Audible, which, for those of you guys who have used Audible, you guys know how incredible it is. Basically, Audible is audiobooks. And as you can see here, I have Joey Graceffa's Children of Eden book up. It's actually a really good book, and I was really surprised. It has sort of like that divergent, kind of Hunger Games feelish to it. Either way, Joey did such an incredible job with this book, and I think you guys will absolutely love it. I'm sure most of you have read it. But if you haven't, now would be the perfect time if you would like to get a 30-day free trial, and you can download this book and many others. You can use my code, audible.com slash iJustine. Basically, you can take any book with you on the go. In Los Angeles, traffic is so bad, so I always listen to audiobooks because I feel like I'm actually accomplishing something and getting something done while I'm driving or getting stuck in traffic. Because let me tell you what you can't do. You can't drive and read a book, but I have seen people in their cars try to do that. Audible.com slash Rajasteen. Get yourself that 30-day free trial. Let me know what book you guys get, and like I said, definitely check out Joey's book. It's so good. It needs to be a movie immediately. Next up, we have Postagram. You can send postcard photos right from your phone to people's door. It's like a, it's like an actual postcard, but it comes from your camera roll. Results, to be completely honest with you, I haven't ever used this. I kept trying to find a fitness app to make me motivated and, and wanna go out and work out, and I'm still trying to find that motivation. So, yeah. Pokey Radar for finding Pokemon. Hiking Project, this is a pretty cool app as well, especially if you're into the outdoors. It'll show you really great trails in your area. Oh look, welcome to Hiking Project. So we're downloading 208 miles of trails in Hawaii. I still can't pronounce this, you guys keep yelling at me. Lufluenza, Luf not even gonna bother. AT&T Passport, that is useful when I'm traveling abroad because you can connect different Wi-Fi's that AT&T has partnered with. Google Translate basically helps you when you travel internationally. Fly Delta, American, both airlines. Postmates, I already mentioned that. Equinox, the gym that I go to, I use that. Sometimes if I'm also traveling, I can get a guest pass to a local Equinox. Open Table for booking reservations for restaurants. Prime Now is a service of Amazon, so basically in big cities, you can kind of get almost any anything that you need within two hours. Pretty incredible. Amazon, same thing, but not in two hours. Yelp for food recommendations. 
I thought I had some more things on here. Other things that I do use a lot on my phone, clearly Google Maps and Apple Maps. A lot of people still use Waze, but I don't think Waze is that good anymore. I feel like anytime I use Waze, I end up getting lost and it sends me down these crazy directions. And to be honest with you, Google bought Waze, so you're still kind of using Google, so you might as well just use Google. The Play Memories app, which is this right here. I use this a lot if I'm using my Sony camera because I can connect to my camera via Wi-Fi and I can get the photos and download them directly to my phone. In that same note, if I'm using my Canon camera, I will be using the camera Canon Connect to also connect to my G7X or my 70D and I'll be able to download all of the photos and videos on the go. Which, if you haven't noticed, most of the photos on my Instagram right now, these were mostly taken with the DSLR, so that's... I wish I could say it's taken on an iPhone 7. Some were. Nope. DSLR, took this with the G7X, took this with the Sony A7S II, shot this with, actually I think I took that with my iPhone. Sony, I don't remember, shot on iPhone. I think this was a Canon EOS M3. This was shot on an iPhone. This was shot on a drone. This was shot on a drone. This was I, a screenshot from a video. iPhone. Anyway, now that we've gone through my entire Instagram feed, <laughs> let me know if you guys have used any of those apps and if you have any other recommendations for travel applications because there are a ton of apps out there that are travel specific, but I feel like some of them aren't really 100% necessary. But these are the apps that I mostly use when I'm traveling. Also, if you guys do get an Audible book, let me know. Be sure to use the code audible.com slash iJustine and yeah. I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a wonderful time and look for some more fun videos here. I hope you guys are enjoying the week of spooky snacks, Halloween horror treats, whatever we're calling them. I don't even know. But those were super fun to shoot, so I look forward to possibly doing a Christmas version. So I'm gonna go, because I'm, I'm sweating out here in this t-shirt and my sweatpants. So, bye. I kind of already melted in here. So we're gonna get these started in our little melting pot. Cut this open. Like this is just one big solid chunk.